Running 1,300 kilometers over the world's highest mountain pass, the so-called Friendship or Karakoram Highway is evidence of China's willingness to spend big. Costing tens of billions of dollars, the road links Western China with Pakistan, part of Beijing's One Belt, One Road initiative, a central tenet of President Xi's leadership. The government is committed to do whatever it can to make sure that it is successful. So a lot more money and resources will be put into it to support that. But figures show since the Karakoram Highway was built, Pakistani exports to China have actually fallen, while imports have increased, raising concern China's new Silk Road could become a one-way street. At the moment, there's a lot of focus on infrastructure and particularly transport. Um, pipelines, that sort of thing, uh, which don't directly address poverty. Um, and in fact, there's been in some cases some controversy about the social and environmental impacts. But uh, I think the aim should be uh, to address development, including poverty and related issues. Gliding above the choking road traffic of the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa, the Chinese-funded tramway system opened last year at a cost of half a billion dollars. Beijing says investments like this will boost African economies, thereby alleviating poverty. It is also part of China's plan to become a dominant force on the global stage. It was affirmed in Xi Jinping's speech, China is very much about these days rules-based uh, global governance, multilateralism, globalization. Visiting India this week, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson accused China of not always playing by those rules. China, while rising alongside India, has done so less responsibly, at times undermining the international rules-based order. Recipient countries have welcomed Chinese investment, which sometimes comes with fewer conditions than Western aid, such as demands for democratic reform. But there could be a sting in the tail, warned Tsang. The real issue will come when some of those countries, particularly in Central Asia, have to pay back some of the loans that were accrued in the Belt and Road Initiative. And most of those countries will make will have problems paying back those loans. For now, Chinese investment continues to expand. Development campaigners say Beijing's focus should be not only on ports and pipelines, but on tackling poverty. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.